Hi everyone, welcome to GTEC Techno Solution Private Limited. Now we are going to discuss and deal with irrational numbers. So let's move on to the topic and the index that is the topics which we are going to cover in this video is natural numbers followed by whole numbers followed by integers along with that we are going to discuss about rational numbers and irrational numbers. So let's begin with the natural numbers. The foremost definition of a natural number is that a natural number is considered as a number that occurs commonly and obviously in nature. As such, it is a whole and it can be called as a non-negative number. The natural numbers are denoted by n. We have an example where the natural number is indicated and denoted by n followed by we have some natural numbers starting from 1, 2, 3 and it goes on. So this is one such example for natural numbers. Let's see an example for the natural number. So we have the question over here. We got to find the sum of first 25 natural numbers. Let's see the solution and how to solve these kinds of questions. The first thing which we need to consider is that since in the question we have the thing which is sum of first 25 natural numbers which needs to be found out. So let us consider yes which is the required sum. Therefore since in the question it is indicated as 25, we can mention yes equals to starting from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 till 25. Since the question is indicating the term 25. Clearly it is observed that it is a kind of an arithmetic progression. Whose first term? The first term is nothing but a n. So the first term which we have over here is 1. So a n is indicated as 1. And the last term. Since we have 25 as the last term, we can mention a25 equal to the value 25. And the number of terms are n equal to 25. Since it's an arithmetic progression, we knew the formula in order to find the sum. So the formulation is that s equals to n into n plus 1 divided by 2. By substituting the values in the formulae, we can find and get like this. So s equals to, since n is there, we knew that n equal to 25. So 25 into n plus 1, n plus 1, right? So 25 plus 1 divided by 2, divided by 2 is mentioned. So on adding 25 plus 1 inside the bracket, we will be getting 26. So 25 into 26 divided by 2. 26 gets cancelled by 2 and we will be getting 13. Now multiplying 25 into 13, we will be getting 325. So therefore, the sum of first 25 natural numbers is 325. So this is how we got to solve the problems in terms of natural numbers. Let's move on to the next problem, whole numbers. So the definition of whole number is that the set of whole numbers is generally denoted by a letter that is W. Every natural number is a whole number. Apart from that, there is no fractional or decimal part in the whole number. This is one such important point which you got to observe in your mind. And there are no negatives in the whole number. So this is all about the whole number. We have an example over here for the whole numbers. Since W is the representation for a whole number, we have mentioned and denoted W. Along with that, we can have some examples. 0, 1, 52, 42. These are some of the examples of whole number. 